Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Sin, and today we are going through the top five apps on my phone if it wants to do the thing. So basically, we're going to go through five different apps, one being a music app, another being a social app, another being a photography app, a game, and just something that's kind of helpful. So for starters, I know a lot of people use different type of music apps. Um, everyone, you know, a lot of people prefer Spotify. Uh, some people prefer Amazon Music. I just go with straight up Apple Music, I just find it the best. I did used to do Amazon Music, but um, yeah, it's kind of trash now. Plus, I kind of like the theme of it all, I don't know, it just kind of fits quite nicely. Um, but yeah, no, no, I like it. Although, the prices are pretty extortionate, like, it really should be free if you have an Apple phone. But it's not. Next up for the social app, I know this one's pretty generic, but we have Instagram. Instagram obviously being something I use all the time. Uh, the tag is JXD and Sin. I don't know if it's going to focus. Probably won't. The lighting is pretty awful, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's not going to focus. So yeah, JXD and Sin, make sure you go check it out. I'm going to try and post some more because right now I only have one post and yeah, it's pretty sad. I'm also finding myself looking at my computer screen a lot because that's where I can actually see like myself and what's going on. However, I really should be looking at the camera, so you know, sorry about that. It's been a while since I've done the whole YouTube thing, right? Next up we have the photography app and that is Huji. Now a lot of people have heard of this and use it quite a lot, it's very popular. But it's something that I learned about about a year ago. And really it just kind of adds in like an extra little effect to your photos and Personally, I like it quite a bit. That's probably one of the best examples. I'll try and put it on screen if I can remember. But yeah, that's probably one of the best examples that I can find of the app and the best things you can get out of it. Only one thing is that it starts off like this and then you click this thing for it to come bigger. Except it doesn't always work and that's kind of an issue. Besides from that, it's pretty good. Next up we have a game. Now this varies a lot because I've changed my favourite like phone games quite a lot. Um, I am one of those people where one of those annoying ads comes up for a game and I download it. It's as simple as that. But one which I'm kind of obsessed with right now is called Draw Climber. But essentially what you've got to do, you draw the legs of whichever character you are and you try and beat another character. It's a good game. It's a good game, you've just kind of got to ignore the ads. But of course, if you know that kind of little secret you can do where, you know, you... Oh, Jesus. Um, where, you know, you take off the internet and then the ads can't show big brain last but not least on the list we have an app which is very very useful for someone like me i've just passed my driving test and so finding parking spots is a very difficult thing to do and knowing when you can park in them how long for how much the cost etc it's it's quite a difficult thing to understand and so an app called parkopedia really really helps me out with that so here's an example i'll try and put it on screen if i can and basically you just kind of put down your location zoom in to you know wherever you're feeling like you want to park around that area you can see one here that's three pound yeah so you can see one here that's three pounds and basically if you click on it it'll tell you the street um just some information about it when it's open how much it costs etc um how you compare the height of it everything like that it's just very good and it has your views. Now, of course, descriptions of places like this can be altered to make it sound good when it really isn't. Um, so, you know, whether you're going for pricing or availability, whatever, you know, whatever you're wanting, um, the reviews can definitely help you out with that. Now, I was shown this app by a friend, so I've got to say, it's just, it's one of those, it's one of the best apps that you could possibly find to help you out with things like this. But yeah, that's been it. So basically, I have a lot more apps on my phone than just that. Um, but that's probably the five apps that I use the most or feel like could really help people the most. So if you did enjoy or you want to see what other apps I've got or you want to see different videos, then please do drop a comment down below, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.